Hi, I'm Regina Falange. And I'm Anastasia Bieberhausen. And this is our time of the month. <laughs> Spring has sprung. It's a new season, so we're going to be completely new human beings. Most people wait for New Year's, but <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> I really enjoy watching Estee Lalonde's Spring Trilogy series, and this kind of inspired us to make our Spring Essentials video. Oh, what are we drinking? What are we drinking? We are actually drinking my number one Spring Essential, Wink's Summer Water Rosé, in these beautiful Pier 1 goblets? I would call it a goblet. Okay. Betchiest of all betchy things, um, rosé. Yeah, and you drink that all year round. Yeah, but in the summer you really go. I hit it hard, yeah. To complement the rosé, my first spring essential is my large swell bottle. And I just dump a whole bottle of wine in this baby and I hit the deck, I hit the park, wherever. Cause movie theater. Conveniently enough, this is 750 milliliters. And this is 750 milliliters. Good job, swell bottle. And I use it all the time, not just for wine, but I also use it for water and iced tea. So every season, I always seem to find a candle that's gonna be my scent of the season. And this one is not sort of a traditional spring scent for me, but it's like a lighter version of my winter scent, which is kind of woodsy. And I don't know if this is the official way to pronounce it, but it's wood boys. <laughs> uh, that's not how you say it. I'm sure it's French or some shit, what? but it's from West Elm. It's a lot of different stuff, but it's mostly woody, which I like with a mm -hmm. hint of marine, which I tend not to. My next spring essential is a hat. And this one just happens to be a floppy, straw colored bucket style hat that I found at Kmart. Um, very affordable, but gets the job done. I like to wear these on the beach when I'm not wearing sunglasses because I tend to sweat a lot and they just slip right off my nose. And this keeps the sun out. I don't have to worry about reapplying sunscreen on my face. And it looks kind of cute all the same. So once the weather gets warmer, I want to stop wearing closed-toed shoes. But because we live in the city, I feel like wearing flat sandals and flip-flops puts me a little too close to the Baltimore sidewalk mm -hmm. where you don't even want to know what goes on. So my option is to buy like kind of cute um, heels and platforms. Mm -hmm. So this pair is, technically they are closed-toed, but they have a really great laser cut um, design in them and they tie right at the top so it makes it really secure and then they have this wide wedge heel cute um, I got these on sale at Poppy and Stella down in Fells Point and they're made by a company called restricted but I have no idea what the the name is so but there's a ton of ones that look really mm -hmm. similar surprise surprise I also have a pair of shoes these are just open-toed sandals with a much smaller heel although it is metallic which I think is kind of fun um, Pretty plain cognac color. These are Sam Edelman uh, Trina sandals, and I found them a few seasons ago at Nordstrom Rack, actually. But don't be discouraged. They still make this style. I guess it's super popular for them. That's awesome. Um, and they're super comfortable. I have worn them to conferences in cities that I've never been to, so it required a lot of walking, and I never get a blister. They always wear really well. They look cute with everything. Even black, I think, looks good with this. Mm -hmm. Um, so I highly recommend just a really comfortable sandal that you know you can rely on. I agree. So the next thing I have is actually Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs um, Leg Makeup. What? Which is super weird, but I'm ghostly pale right now. My skin is practically translucent, and I haven't yet really started using tanning products for the summer. Um, and so I started wearing skirts, and I looked down, and I am looking at two chubby chalk sticks coming out from under my skirts and my like <laughs> my skirts and dresses and I am embarrassed so I've been using this a little bit I actually usually dilute it with moisturizer so I do sort of like a 60 40 moisturizer makeup combo are you eyeballing that or are you like measuring uh, yeah I go out and get my teaspoons <laughs> No, I just sort of like squirt it into my hand and but I put both in at the same time and then mix it and put Smart. it on. So it gives me a little bit of color, but it's totally matte and then it doesn't come off. I actually once put it on full blast, no moisturizer, and then went to bed in my white sheets and it did not budge. Well, that's a risky game. It oh, well, I didn't know the risk I was taking when it happened, but the next day I was so thankful that it actually really does stay on. So I appreciate it. It's spring, the sun is out, you're outside trying to enjoy the weather, and you're going to need to protect your skin. So I use, 
Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration SPF 30 sunscreen. This is the only sunscreen that I have found in the last five years probably that does not cause little white bumps or red rashes on my skin. Oh. A lot of people have an allergy to sunscreen, so I think it's chemical versus, what are the chemical versus something sunscreens? I don't know. I have no idea. But this has a really nice, like, coconutty smell. Yeah. It does not smell like SPF at all, so if that's something you don't like, you're definitely going to like this. Yeah. Um, and it has moisturizing ribbons throughout the sunscreen, so it's really moisturizing on your skin. It doesn't feel drying at all, and I can wear this, and it's guaranteed that I don't get a sunburn. It absorbs yep. so quickly. And it's not white. It's not a white sunscreen. It's almost like a nude colored sunscreen. It's just like regular lotion. Yeah, it's just like you're putting lotion on, mm -hmm. and it's water resistant for 80 minutes, which is pretty long for an SPF 30 product, and I usually follow it up with the Hawaiian Tropic After Sun Lotion. Uh -huh. It's like a blue gel, and I also love that. I went to look for this at Target the other day, totally sold out. They I had, probably bought all of them. They had sun care products in three different sections, because I knew they were going to have end caps already. Nope, sold out. I also use the SPF 15 if I can't find a 30, and it's also good. Yeah, love it. So spring for me means skirts. I'm not a huge um, shorts fan, and by that I mean I don't wear them at all. Yeah. So it's really like cropped pants, um, skirts, and dresses. Mm -hmm. And for me, I feel like... With a skirt, I'm able to wear sort of a louder pattern than I would ever wear a dress in because it's less of a commitment. Yeah. And then I just pair it with something really basic. So this season, I have purchased three skirts um, so far. I will admit that. And so I have this like black and white stripe one, and it's kind of a midi length, which is great. So, I love that. but it's so lightweight. It's going to be really breathable when it's hot out. Feels like and a linen blend. Yeah, and it has an elastic waist, so it's super comfortable. I'll probably pair it with just like a chambray top mm -hmm. or even maybe just like white or black and easy. And then the other one I have is this J. Crew um, vertical stripe, navy and white. I had it on our Instagram. It has pockets. Mm -hmm. Again, elastic waist with really cute pleats. Um, and I got this on sale, I think from the factory actually, and I wore it to work and I got so many compliments on did it. Did you buy it online? I did buy it online. And then the last one I have is actually from last season. It's from Loft. It also has pockets, elastic waist, I love that. and just it, it's got um, blue, white, and like a nice cognac brown in it. Mm -hmm. And so I pair it with any of those colors. I feel kind of effortless and chic at the same time because I think patterns can be really fantastic mm -hmm. if they're done well. And so I just usually keep everything else pretty simple. This makes me want to buy skirts. I love skirts. So I think much. I own two or three total. Really? Yeah. Oh, I started I started buying a lot of skirts once the hemline started dropping. Yeah. Once it wasn't like denim mini skirt Abercrombie and Fitch. Mm -hmm. That's when I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm really. I will skirts. say I have the floral skirt that I wore to the bluegrass concert. Yeah. And it's very similar to those. And I feel really confident body wise like I'm okay with my image yeah when I wear one because I can wear it up high and show off my smaller waist yeah and tuck a shirt in so it like it really flatters you if you can wear it the right way yeah that's exactly how I wear these I wear them up a little bit higher than my natural waist yeah because I have really wide hips so it's weird me too and then a lot of the time I'll just tuck in a button-down chambray shirt and it's just kind of cute and casual does, but like a little right. bit dressier mm -hmm. you can pair it with a wedge do it with flat sandals mm -hmm. My most worn transitional piece into spring is definitely my denim jacket. And this is a light wash denim jacket from Loft. It's actually from 2016, but some places always sell in a really good denim jacket. Yeah. And I recommend you go for one that's softer and kind of like well worn already because there's nothing worse than having a stiff denim jacket on. <laughs> like you're a fat guy in a little coat, Chris Farley, you know? And this one is actually pretty short, so it hits me right at my waist, which is again pretty flattering if you have larger hips. And I just pair this with pretty much everything. Black pants, skirts, dresses. Patterns. Patterns. It looks great with everything. You can I treat really it as a neutral. It. it is a neutral. And you know, it's just easy. It's yeah. so easy and effortless. So like I mentioned before, I usually keep my outfits pretty simple in the summer. A lot of the time it's just a plain white top and then I use accessories to sort of jazz it up. Mm -hmm. jazz it up. So I bought these actually over the winter and I haven't worn them yet because they seem definitely like a solid spring summer earring. They just have a little turquoise post and then these really great, what red is this? Dangly ones. But like what red would you call magenta. it? Magenta. Is it magenta? Yep, yeah, it's magenta. But anyway, they're $12.99. They are a, 
uh, Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar. Because mm -hmm. Bobble Bar earrings are really trendy, but they're also kind of expensive for a possibly only season long trend. Right. So this is a great way to hit the trend, but then only spend $12.99. So I usually, yeah, I pair this like hair up, big bun, mm -hmm. white shirt with maybe like a little bit of embroidery or detail, and then this earring. Cute. I love them. Easy breezy. I'm not trying to overcomplicate it. Beautiful. Beautiful? Cover girl. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Last but certainly not least are spring lip trends. And I go big or go home. I don't know if you can tell by what I'm wearing right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is actually a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Naked Ladies. And I'm not going to lie about it because of the name. It don't look cute up in person. It's, so, that's not true. It's a little bit, it, it settles in your fine lines. Well, it's, is it an ultra matte? No, it's a satin. Oh, I thought we liked the satins. We do, but not that color, I guess. Mm -hmm. Bummer. I'm still gonna wear it, I still love it. Next, I have a little bit more of an orange shade. So that was pretty coral. This is actually orange. This Maybe. is NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Fireball. And it is, it is in your face Fireball. Holy shit, Fireball. <laughs> fireball! I haven't worn this in public yet, but I can tell that I'm going to when I whiten my teeth. <laughs> and finally, I am pretty loyal to the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. My favorite color for spring and summer is definitely kimchi. This is just a really bright, but really flattering pink lipstick. Super easy to wear, extremely creamy, doesn't travel outside of your lip line. I wore this actually when we went on a wine weekend getaway last year. I tasted wine all the live long day and it still looked great. So I didn't realize that's what you wore. Thanks for noticing. So Danielle already shared what she's wearing on her lips this time and I am actually also wearing a ColourPop. I think I've been wearing ColourPop in like our last six <laughs> videos. This is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Faded and it's a new, it's a cream. I'm so used to wearing their mattes, but this one, like it looks glossy it is kind of glossy mm -hmm. i will say it does come off a lot on my wine glass but it's not coming off a lot on my from my mouth it's just transferring so eventually i would have to reapply mm -hmm. but i still feel really confident in its like coverage i guess it looks great but yeah so it's kind of it's a little bit on the orange side of pink mm -hmm. which is great i think for spring because i'm so used to wearing like dusty mauvey nudes all winter and so this is just a little bit brighter so go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Go ahead and watch all of our bloopers as we say dumb shit on Instagram because yes. that seems to be everyone's favorite. Yeah. We're our time of the month on Instagram and you should definitely follow us there. Yeah, go like us on Facebook. Um, check out the blog, which we haven't written anything recently, but that's okay. We will. We'll get back to it. We mm -hmm. were taking a brief, like, hiatus. I agree. We had shit going on. Comment below what you're loving what you would like to see from us next. And yeah. what you're drinking. Yeah!